Hi there, and welcome back. My name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today, I wanted to talk to you about Wordle. Depending on your perspective, it could be your favorite time waster, or maybe it's that game you've been avoiding on principle because it's been clogging up your social media timeline. However you feel about it though, it's no secret that the game was recently acquired by the New York Times. Consequently, they've said that the game will initially remain free, but with wording like that, it's pretty obvious that they intend to lock Wordle behind the notorious New York Times paywall. So instead of forking over cash for a web-based word game, you can instead fork a, an open source clone of Wordle and host it on a Linode. Then you can share your Wordle clone with your friends and family and maybe even add a few of your own favorite words to the list of possible answers. To begin the setup, let's log into the Linode Cloud dashboard. Now, if you don't already have an account, you can use the link below to earn $100 in free credit to get you started. Now, if you haven't seen Wordle, what we're actually gonna be doing is building a game just like this. Uh, we're not building it from scratch, we're gonna clone a, uh, a an open source repository to, to deploy a game like this. So basically what you do is you pick uh, letters, uh, let's say B-O-I-N-G. Oh, okay, wow. So the green here means that uh, the letters are, are in the word and they're also in that location, in that position in the word. The gray means that that letter isn't in the word and uh, if it was yellow, it would mean that the letter is in the word but not in that position. Um, so let's see, that would be Y-O-U-N-G. Yeah, young, okay. So this is one that I deployed uh, yesterday, but uh, I'm gonna actually start from scratch here. So let's just delete this Word, Wordle clone here, and we're gonna create a new Linode. We're gonna select uh, Ubuntu 2104. Uh, we're gonna pick Newark, New Jersey, because I'm in the Northeast United States. Uh, and then we can pick um, either a shared CPU plan. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with a dedicated CPU plan. So then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna give it a label, we're gonna say Wordle clone. Uh, and we can give it a tag if we want, we could say game server, it doesn't really matter. This is just for your own personal uh, organizational purposes. And then we're gonna provide a password. We wanna make note of this password because this is the password we're gonna use uh, to log into our Linode via SSH. Uh, and then we're gonna hit create. And we'll see here that uh, this will take a minute um, to get uh, us configured and, and ready to go. Um, you'll see provisioning. Once it's done flashing and it's green, uh, we'll, we'll be ready to go. All right, so you see we have, uh, we are now running. So we could use the Lish console, but I wanna copy and paste some commands. So I'm actually going to use uh, my terminal emulator. Uh, if you are on Windows, then you wanna use something like PowerShell. Um, the, the same commands will apply. Um, here, what we're gonna do is we're going to copy this IP address. We're gonna switch back to our terminal and we're gonna type in SSH root at, and then we're gonna paste in our IP address. And we're gonna hit enter. Um, type in yes and hit enter. And this is gonna let us uh, log into this machine. And then we're gonna type in the password that I told you to uh, make note of and remember from the previous step. Now we're logged in. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually we're going to uh, install Node. Uh, Node.js is what this uh, Wordle project that we're going to use is based on. And we'll just copy and paste this command. The, the links will be down below in the description. Uh, and you can just copy and paste that command and hit enter. And basically what that does is it uh, adds the uh, official node repository to our Ubuntu system. So then we can just type in uh, apt install dash y node js and that's going to install everything that we need um, to build our project. So now we're gonna go over here and this is our, uh, this is the project that we're actually going to clone. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, copy this uh, URL here. And we're going to uh, get clone. And there you can see that we actually have React Wordle. So we're gonna CD into uh, that directory. And we have uh, a couple of uh, files here. From here, the next thing that we need to do is actually install Docker. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, copy and paste this command. And what this command does is it adds the, uh, the GPG key 
for the official Docker repository for Ubuntu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. It shouldn't take very long at all. Then we're going to run this command, which uh, basically adds the repository to our apt repository list. Uh, and then we're going to run the next command. And this command right here installs Docker. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see here, we're updating apt and then we're installing the Docker CE or Community Edition, the Docker CE CLI, and uh, the container d.io. And it's going to ask us if we want to continue. We can hit yes. This will download all of the uh, dependencies for Docker and it will install the Docker environment. So the next thing we're going to do is build the Docker image that uh, is specified in this directory. If we ls here, you can see that we actually have uh, a Docker file. And so by running this command, what we're going to be doing is running this Docker file, which tells uh, our system how to actually uh, build a Docker image of this game. So we're going to hit enter there. And this process does take a minute. There we go. And now we have the Docker image for our React app uh, set up. So let's go over here and copy this last command. And we're going to hit paste. But I'm gonna actually going to modify this command a little bit. We're going to type in dash dash name. And then we're going to say Wordle. And that's just uh, some, a little bit of housekeeping. So we can keep track uh, a lot easier of the Docker images that we're running. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And now you can see that if we hit, uh, if we type in Docker PS, you'll see that we have a Docker image running. Let's expand this out here. So you'll see here that we actually have uh, our Docker image running, and it's running on port 80, and we have Wordle here. That's pretty awesome. So what we need to do now, let's go back to our Linode Cloud dashboard. We're going to copy our IP address, and let's navigate to this IP address. And here you can see that we actually have our Wordle clone uh, running here. So we can type in, uh, let's say, so let's add, let's try uh, Linux. Wow, okay, not a single letter. How about wheat? Oh, T, okay. Uh, um, tough? Uh, storm. Oh yeah, okay. Oh no, it's not storm, all right. Uh, story. There we go. Of course it's not tough. I had an H in there. Anyway, that's how you play the game. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but you know. <laughs> uh, so now we know that today's word is story. Um, that's pretty cool. So what if we wanted to actually make today's uh, word Linux? Uh, because I don't think Linux is actually a word that could be an answer. Well, let's actually go back in here and let's uh, CD into the SRC uh, constants directory. And you can see we have word lists and valid guesses. Now you can actually use any uh, 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 text editor that you want. I'm going to use nano for this and we're going to do wordlist.ts uh, and let's actually control W and find story in this list. And uh, before story, we're actually going to create a new line and uh, inside it, we're going to put Linux. Uh, make sure that you have the trailing comma here and uh, hit control X uh, and then press Y and then hit enter and you've saved your new word list. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to uh, Docker stop our Wordle game, our Wordle container, and then we're going to uh, Docker RM Wordle. You don't need to remove it, but I'm going to. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, the same commands that we did before. We're going to do docker build. Oh wait, we need to go back up two directories and then we're going to do docker build. And you can see that it actually has cached all of the uh, the run npm install stuff so we don't have to build that stuff. We don't have to download that stuff again, which is nice. And while it's building, you can see that we actually, if we refresh the page, it's no longer there. All right, and now let's run the docker image by going up here and we're going to just run uh, docker run name wordle dp8080 uh, game production and we're going to hit enter and now it should be running 
And there we go. And you can see here, if we type in Linux, that's today's word. How cool is that? Uh, you can actually modify not only today's word, but you can modify, uh, you can add any number of words to the available word list. You can also add words to the uh, guessable directory. You can add in jokes and whatever you want in there, but you can also change the number of letters that you get to pick from. So instead of having five letter words, you can do six or seven letter words. Um, You'll obviously have to change the word list and the available guesses to match that number of letters, but uh, you can do it if you want. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Wordle is a fun little game, uh, and this is a really nice, uh, well put together clone of the game that you can run on your own Linode. If you don't have a Linode account already, again, you can use the $100 credit that's down below to get you started, uh, and you can run this game for a couple months for free. That's pretty cool. But I think that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.